Do you remember we asked you to share the stereotypes to know about Ukraine? As we promised in our episodes previously, we're going to break some of them. The time has come! We have thoroughly read all your comments and now ready to break top 5 myths that you mentioned. Ready, steady? Go! <laughs> Myth number one. It's called the Ukraine. Many foreigners, including politicians and opinion leaders, regularly call Ukraine with an article Z. Into the Ukraine. Of the Ukraine. It is true that the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic that existed until 1991 was commonly called as the Ukraine in English, meaning it is a part of the Soviet Union. But even at those times, the term was a shorthand. Now Ukraine is an independent state that is neither part of the USSR nor of Russia. The article is rooted in a traditional translation choice that seems very insignificant but has huge political implications for us. But even if you ignore the linguistics, the country's official name is Ukraine. And uh, you don't want to seem ignorant, do you? Myth number two. Ukraine is having a civil war. The war in Ukraine's eastern Donbas region that has been going on for uh, more than five years now and claimed more than 13,000 lives seems a confusing one. And it's Russia that has purposely made that this way. Following its stealthy and illegal annexation of Crimea, Russia kept funding, outfitting and supplying troops to the eastern borders of Ukraine. So calling the conflict a civil war is incorrect. The war was started and is perpetuated through funding, uh, weaponry, supplies and troops by Russia. It is not a civil war. And in response to one of your comments uh, that is like, uh, are the Russians still grabbing uh, the land? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we respond that fortunately the Kremlin seemed to, uh, to not be as appetite for now, thanks to the Ukrainian firm position that Russia is an aggressor state and our oppression, as well as thanks to the U international community's support. But Crimea and eastern Ukraine are still occupied and the war is still not over. Myth number three. Chernobyl is a dead zone. The release of HBO's Chernobyl has undoubtedly led to a share of horror stories and conspiracy theories around the Chernobyl nuclear plant today. For sure, the disaster would forever be captured in the memory of the Ukrainian people. But today the radiation story is over and today Chernobyl is becoming a great site to visit. If you'd like to spend a weekend in Chernobyl, and anyone can do that via ordering an excursion. You would not see any mutants, stalkers or fantastic beasts. <laughs> Instead, you will have a unique opportunity to meet very friendly wild animals that are not afraid of people. Just think of any other place in the world where you could simply feed foxes in their natural environment. Fox Samoan even has his own Facebook account. It seems like the absence of people has benefited the nature. Because of that, Chernobyl is becoming a place of inspiration for various Ukrainian and foreign artists, musicians, etc. When once come to Chernobyl to witness the great tragedy, they find another side of the coin, and that is eternal power and beauty of the Ukrainian nature. Myth number four. Ukraine is all about Sharovare. And now our favorite section, what is what? What is Sharovare? <laughs> Sharovare are white baggy trousers that the Ukrainian Cossacks were always wearing. And in that context, uh, we have another term in Ukraine, which is Sharovarshchina. Uh, that, that term has a rather negative connotation because it is a very narrow and rather primitive way of representing the Ukrainian culture and identity uh, through pseudo uh, village and pseudo Cossack clothing and other lifestyle elements. Despite the widespread myth, Ukraine is a country to be proud of, especially in fashion industry. And Kyiv, not Kyiv, not Kyiv <laughs> can definitely be called the fashion capital, if not of the world, but of Europe for sure. Come for the Ukrainian Fashion Week this September to make sure we are telling you the truth. Spotted Rihanna and Dua Lipa in Mariana Senchina. 
Dakota Johnson and Emily Ratajkowski in Bevza, Bella Hadid and Courtney Kardashian in Yankee Yankee, Demi Moore and Catherine Zita Jones in Vita Kim, and many more world famous faces wearing the label made in Ukraine. And what about you there? Myth number five Ukrainians are the most drinking nation. But let's drink first. Sure, see. It's a myth. <laughs> it's a myth. Frankly speaking, if uh, we glance at the alcohol consumption statistics 2019, we'll see that Ukraine is even not on top five. In one of the world's busiest nations of 2019 are Belarus, Lithuania, Grenada, Czech Republic, and France. Ukraine is sharing its modest 24th place with Canada. The United States are taking the 25th place. At least somewhere Ukraine is overriding the United States. Yeah. <laughs> 